a surgeon will one day be able to practice virtually as many times as needed before laying her hands on a real patient. The metaverse may be virtual, but the impact will be real. Today, I want to show you four VR research prototypes that we're working on to invent displays that are as vivid and realistic as the physical world, and much more advanced than traditional computer screens we use today. First, we need retinal resolution, and that means getting up towards you know, about 60 pixels per degree. So we built Butterscotch. That's this prototype that lets you comfortably read the smallest letters on an eye chart. Second is focal depth. Normal monitors are a set distance away, so you just focus in one place. But in VR and AR, you need to be able to focus on things that are very close and very far from you. With Verifocal and eye tracking tech, our halftone prototypes let you focus on any object at any distance. We also need to fix optical distortions in software so quickly that it's imperceptible to the human eye. Next is high dynamic range. Nature is often 10 or 100 times brighter than modern HDTVs and the highest end monitors. And we need those colors to be just as vivid to feel realistic. So we built Starburst, the first HDR VR system that we know of. The goal is to fit all of these technologies into a device that is lighter and thinner than anything that currently exists. So we built Hollow Cake 2, a working experimental device using holographic displays that can already play PC VR experiences. Now there's still a long way to go, but I'm excited to bring all this tech to our products in the coming years. You don't actually see with your eyes, you see with your brain. For example, this video that you're watching now, your eyes are just the middleman between the images of this video and the visual cortex of your brain. So when I'm wearing the next mind device and focusing on these objects in both the flat screen and VR experience, each of these objects has a unique signature pattern overlay, which is being read by the visual cortex of my brain. These signatures and signals in the visual cortex can be picked up and identified by the next mind device, which are then sent to the PC to process them and translate them into an action. The next mind is a non-invasive device which just reads the signal from your brain. It can't actually write to the brain and you can opt in and out of any data that you wish to share with the company. Tech like this seems like complete science fiction, but it might not actually be as far into the future as you might think. Because Nextmind aren't the only ones that believe this technology could change the way we work and play forever. Brain-computer interfaces have been a hot topic recently with Elon Musk going a few steps further by wanting to actually implant a chip into your brain which can both read and write called Neuralink. Gabe Newell from Valve is also excited about this tech and recently did an interview with the New Zealand News Network talking about the research and development they're doing with brain-computer interfaces and how the sensors could be implemented into the head strap and facial interface of future VR headsets. Thank you. 